going to do a fish dish now, and this is a, again a quite traditional. We would use a lot of um, in historically mackerel and herring. The herring is actually soused already, so we're just really going to warm that in the pan. And the mackerel, also known as garfish, um, we're just going to cook in the pan, but then with a thing called mealy crushy. A mealy crushy is just a uh, oats fried off in bacon. And uh, and then maybe some uh, we put a wee bit of scallion in it, and then it becomes scalled the beggars. So it's it's a whole big dish, uh, really quite traditional because herrings and oatmeal would have been traditional, and bacon fat again adds a bit of flavour to the whole thing. So we've got the pan nice and hot, and I'm just going to add a bit of oil, and then uh, some dry cured streaky bacon, which we just want to cook down until that's nice and um, nice and crispy. And again, bacon, you know, uh, all, very traditional. Um, a pig would have been slaughtered, and and the whole, the the prime parts like the belly and everything would have been um, would have been salted for bacon to sustain everybody over the winter. Um, so just want to break that down a wee bit just to get it nice and crispy. And again, bacon and oily fish like mackerel work really really well together and, it's, and it also adds a bit of crunch too to the whole thing so we'll just uh, an idea here is, is just to get um, as much of the fat out of this um, so that we'll cook our fish in the fat and then that'll and it'll also flavour our oats as well I'll put another wee bit of oil in this too just to So I'll we'll just leave that for a few seconds. So just when I'm doing that, um, with the mackerel, if I can just uh, score the mackerel, it just helps it cook a wee bit better. Just if you just take it and just run your knife just into, just sort of make like incisions into the mackerel, like that. And as I said, the herring's already cooked. It's called soused herring, um, and it's just really cooked in it like a some onion and some vinegar, um, really, really pickled or soused, and uh, that was really traditional around parts of sort of the east coast of Northern Ireland, around Port of Bogey, uh, our glass. Right, so we we'll just uh, so the bacon's starting to smell really good now. So we'll we'll we just want to get it nice and, and crispy, and then I'm going to take that out and uh, put it into here into a clean clean bowl. So mackerel fishing again all around all the coasts of, of Northern Ireland, so from the top coast right down to Port of Oge, still very much um, it, it's still very much part of our, our stock of fish stock, and it's it's beautiful. It's part of tradition. Um, traditionally, um, the herring would have been probably one of the herring and salted her or salted ling and herring would have been the two fish that would have been very predominant and they were both preserved so fresh fish was a real luxury. Our bacon is, is nice and crisp now so it will go back to the pan eventually so what we'll do is just take it out of this and leave as much of the fat in as possible because that's what we're going to get our lovely flavour from and the great thing about fish especially so a nice bit of mackerel like that. It's not. It's not a. It's not a big thick fish. It's not going to take ages to cook, and you can cook it quite quickly in the pan. So, get our pan. Get this nice and hot, and then just take the fish and just put it into the pan away from yourself. And if you just hold it down a wee bit, you will get a nice bit of crispy skin on this. The fish face if you didn't have as best as fingers, but anyway, that's I'm gonna just season that up a wee bit with a bit of salt. So just a wee bit of salt there. Okay. So fish like that will not won't, won't take a massive length of time to cook. This one I'm just gonna flash. While I'm waiting for that then, I'm gonna put a wee bit of butter in it the other side of the pan. Here. 
So you've got the nice flavour from the fish, you've got the, the lovely bacon fat, uh, and then the butter and the sage, and then just a, a few yolks, not a lot, just to cover that side of the pan. And we'll give that a wee stir around. So oats, oats cooked in, uh, in bacon fat, that's what we call mealy crushy. And then if you add leeks to that, or I'm going to add scallions, then it's called scab the beggars. So, and this would have been a meal. So, sat down and had a few oats. So there no, no, there wouldn't have been the luxury of the the mackerel on the side. Right, just let that cook down there. And then just for the mackerel now, at the other side. So what I'm going to do is just take another wee bit of butter and just fire that down the middle in there, just to crisp up our skin. You can sort of see the fish cooking at the side there, really, just a wee bit. So, lovely. So you've got really nice uh, smell here of, of mackerel. Um, we've got the beautiful bacon fat coming through the, the oats as well. I'm going to put the bacon back in this again. Nice wee bits of fat there too. We're going to have a wee look at our mackerel now. Right. So if you press it down, you get that nice golden colour there. Let me give this one another wee minute or two in the pan. Just in that middle bit there, I'm just going to um, take another wee tiny bit of oil. And I'm just going to flash these one at a time. So this is our, our sauce tearing, which is essentially cooked. But I just want to give it a wee flash just to warm it up. And I'll do the other one as well. So again, <coughs> soused herring is one of those things that was really, really traditional. And actually very trendy now because of Nordic food. You have lovely pickled fish. So actually this is probably a very trendy dish. We'll take that out now. Take our bit of, put our wee bit of herring down here on this side of the plate. Got a wee bit here. So you know how the fish is ready because it, it needs to be nice and firm and it will be cooked through. So just there. and I just really, really, really want to just flash this, uh, really just flash the, the herring because it's just to warm it up really and to pick up all, all those nice juices. So another wee bit of the herring here. Give our, our, our scab the beggars a nice uh, scrump around there. Lovely. And our fish is actually ready because it's not. I think we tend to overcook fish a lot in this country, so we'll just uh, take that. So just one last turn around just to get all the lo that lovely goodness out of that pan. Turn that off. And then we'll just over our herrings there, our soused herrings. Just give that a nice go over there. We've got a lovely plate here from the cottage. There we are. So that's our that's our, our finished dish. So that's our, our mackerel, just cooked in the pan with in the bacon fat. We've got our scab the beggars and we've got our sliced herring. There you are. A taste of Port of okay.